Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Hunter Elliott here at RangeHot.com. Hope everybody's doing well. So I got my old Delta lead out. This is the Gen 2. I did a review on this pistol a number of years ago, believe it or not. I bought it from Colt, and I've been enjoying shooting it. And uh, I got to thinking about, there's a really kind of a, a hot button topic that I see is circulating YouTube and circulating the gun forms and all this sort of thing. And it's, can you drop the slide on the empty chamber on a 1911? Well, I mean, can you? Yeah, of course, it's physically possible. Should you? No. The primary reason, and I think this goes for all handguns, is just dropping that slider in empty chamber is in bad taste. It's in bad form. Don't do that, especially to somebody else's gun. Don't, you know, but there is a reason other than it being in bad form. Some people get their 1911s and they're like, hey, look, this is a good trigger, but I want it better. So they'll send it to the gunsmith to have a trigger job done. Well, one of the first things the gunsmiths are going to do is they're going to address that sear and hammer hooks. A lot of times they're going to clean that sear up. They're going to uniform it. They're going to polish it and maybe even reduce the material and get a more of a sharp knife edge. And they're going to do something similar or the same to the hammer hooks. You know, polish on those, make them more uniform, take out any tooling marks and perhaps even reduce the size of them. I'm not saying do that. I'm just telling you what some gunsmiths will do when they're attempting to get a better trigger out of a 1911-style pistol. Now, when you've got that really nice, beautiful trigger job with that knife edge, beautiful, clean, perfect knife edge on your sear, engaged with the hammer hooks, that's certainly going to make the trigger pull better. But if you start dropping that slide on empty chamber, what's going to happen is that trigger is going to move around and it's bumping the disconnector, and that disconnector is bumping the sear, and that sear is probably trying to do a little bit of moving inside those hammer hooks. Probably not a lot, but some. And what's, what could happen and what will happen over time is it's going to begin to damage your nice trigger pull. It's going to be to damage those parts, that sear, leading edge of the sear, the hammer hooks, that sort of thing. So, and even on a, you know, a production 1911, if you do it long enough, it, it, it could begin to wear on that sear, and it's just there's no good reason to do it. Well, there is one good reason to do it, and that is to function check the pistol for hammer follow. And what I mean by hammer follow is, look here, empty magazine. I know this pistol's clear, but we're going to double check it. Hammer follow is, look, somebody stuck a damn full-length guide rod in that gun. I think they're playing a joke on me, but it's fine. Uh, anyway... Hammer follow is, you know, when the, when the hammer goes forward, stripping around out of the magazine, without depressing the trigger, the hammer follows it. And that's bad. So when you do a trigger job and, and you do any work like that and you function test the pistol, you want to function test against hammer follow. Well, the best way to do that, unfortunately, is to drop the slide on empty chamber. Now, you know, when you've got a, a full magazine full of ammo, and that slide is going to battery and it's stripping around out of the magazine and going to battery, that's going to slow that slide down a little bit. It's going to reduce the amount of force it has when it does go fully into battery. And when I say into battery, this is in battery, ready to fire. Empty chamber, it's not slowing that slide down at all. It's just crashing into battery and jostling the gun around. That's, and like I said, that's how you're going to test for hammer follow. If you must do it, if you have to function test your pistol and you got to drop the slide on empty chamber hold the trigger to the rear so pull the trigger to the rear and then do it now I hate doing that and I and I will re reiterate that's in bad form but for demonstration purposes it ain't gonna hurt this pistol especially because I pulled the trigger to the rear now what does that do well that does two things first it puts pressure on that trigger to the rear so the trigger's not going to be moving around, bouncing around. But also, gets the disconnector out of the equation. So that sear is not going to be chattering around, beating around inside the hammer hooks. So there it is. Should you do it only if you're function checking the pistol? Any wise, any, any reason other than that is considered in bad form. And I would agree it's in bad form on all handguns. Don't just drop the slide on the chamber. It's, it's not respectful to the gun. That's the same as 
don't flip the damn cylinder back into a revolver. You see people do that. They got the cylinder out and they just flip it over in there. Don't do that. That's that's hard on the crane. That's hard on a lot of parts. We'll do a video about that, but don't do that either. But anyway, Candy's telling me at five minutes. So real quick, like a rabbit, I'm just going to wrap this up. Should you drop the slide on an empty chamber on your 1911? Only if you're function checking for hammer follow, and if you do it, be sure you depress that trigger. Otherwise, if you got to get the slide down on the empty chamber, you know, I'll just take my hand and just kind of ride it down like that. So anyway, uh, that's all I got. Let me know what you think. There's a comment section below. I'd love to get your feedback, uh, but I did. Before I shot this video, I talked to 1911 Tuner. We had a conversation, and I wanted to make sure what I'm telling you is right. So, uh, But let me know what you think, good, bad, right, or wrong. If you enjoyed the video, check out my channel. I think we do a lot of cool stuff here. And please consider subscribing and, and, and ringing that notification bell. Candy's reminding me to tell you all that. So you can kind of see what's what with what. We're doing a lot of cool stuff, at least what I think is cool stuff. Anyway, all right, y'all, that's all I got. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other. Look forward to seeing you at the range.